consider the square root of 8. It's an irrational number since all the three conditions are satisfied. Let's review the three conditions. It has an order which is a natural number greater than 1. The base is a positive rational number and it's an irrational root which means the value of root 8 is irrational. Let's reduce the base to its prime factors. It will equal root of 2 times 2 times 2. Since we're calculating the square root, we can take a pair of same numbers and take one number out from the pair. Here, we make a pair of the number 2. Taking one 2 outside, we write it as 2 root 2. So root of 8 can also be written as 2 root 2. Now look at this 2 root 2. A rational number is multiplied with an irrational number. But the result is still irrational. This is called a mixed third. It's of the form k nth root of a where k is a rational number and k does not equal plus or minus 1. If k is 1 then it's as good as not multiplying the irrational number with anything and nth root of a has to be a third. Remember, k has to be a rational number and this has to be irrational and k cannot be equal to plus or minus 1. k is also referred to as the rational factor. Now here's another irrational number, cube root of 9. Is there a k here? Yes, it's 1. This is actually 1 multiplied by cube root of 9. This is called a pure third. It is of the form k nth root of a where k is equal to plus or minus 1. But wait, observe the first example, root 8. For root 8, k is equal to 1. It's of this form, hence it's a pure third. So we wrote a pure third as a mixed third. Similarly, this mixed third, 2 root 2, can be written as root 8. So we should know that sometimes pure thirds can be written as mixed thirds and vice versa. But it's important to know that it does not hold good always. Look at the second example for instance. Cube root of 9. Reducing 9 to its prime factors, we can write this as cube root of 3 times 3. But we cannot reduce it further. And that's why it's only a pure third. So these are the two types of thirds. Mixed third in which k is a rational number but does not equal plus or minus 1 and a pure third in which k equals plus or minus 1. And also keep in mind that whatever be the value of k, this will be a mixed or a pure third only if nth root of a is a third. If we have something like 3 root 16, we cannot call it a mixed third since root 16 itself is not a third. <laughs>